many of you have looked at a photo of yourself and said, hmm, I thought I looked better. And ladies, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the men. How many of you guys have looked at your photos afterward and said, that's a little sloppier than I thought. Our next guest had that thought and he created a million dollar solution. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about that. Rob Kessler, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Rob is the creator of the Million Dollar Collar. And let's talk about how we can get you guys looking fabulous and really framed and yes. clean and neat. So tell us a little bit about your story. So um, I was, I got married in Jamaica, um, toes in the sand, no tie, nice and casual wedding. And um, I noticed right away, because we brought our photographer down, so he was showing me pictures and I was like, oh my God, my shirt. I remember tugging at it all the time. Um, and even before I said I do, it was just kind of a crumbled mess. You could see my undershirt, it just felt sloppy. And so I came home, I literally started cutting open shirts and uh, I put a piece of cardboard down into this part because I thought this was what the problem was uh -huh. and showed my new bride. And she's like, oh, I get what you've been like freaking out about all these years. Cause I'd iron it and then it'd mm -hmm. take me longer to get ready than her because I'm like ironing my shirt, trying to get it to sit right. It just never would. Not enough starch in the world. Uh, not enough starch <laughs> in the world. Right. Exactly. That's right. That my shirt at my wedding was brand new, freshly pressed, starched everything. And it just not even 30 minutes it lasted. Mm -hmm. So. Um, obviously, cardboard's not going to work in a dress shirt, so <laughs> not <laughs> I for long. Tested. I mean, it might work till you wash it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I went through my house. I mean, I was testing mini blinds and every piece of plastic zip ties I could find, and I would wash and dry. I'm like, oh, it would work, and then I'd send it to the dry cleaner, and it would melt and just totally. I have a bin of like a hundred room shirts <laughs> testing this. Uh, so I ended up developing a material, and uh, it took almost three years to get right and patent, and um, and, and the outcome is this, which. Right. To the, to the naked eye looks so simple, but for, for three years of research, you actually came up with a solution that works. Talk to us about um, the response you've gotten and you know where is this most popular? Because frankly, while I'm talking to the men, only because you gave us a great statistic, right? Yeah. Would you say 90% of the dress shirts in the world are sold to men? Well, yeah, most dress shirts are sold to men. Mm -hmm. uh, women have 8 million other options other than a dress shirt. I would sure. put on Amy anything other than... Amy and I have totally different than... styles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but for a guy, you know, if you want to look good, you know, you have your standard t-shirt. And if you want to dress up, you have a dress shirt. I mean, that's right. what you do to dress up. And they say up to 90% of dress shirts are rarely with ever, worn, uh, if ever worn with a necktie. So uh -huh. nobody's wearing neckties anymore. But you still want, this is kind of like the focal point. And yeah. now it just draws attention up to the face. Hmm. With this little V, you kind of put your head on a little, a little mm, platter. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, the product's super simple. Uh, it took three years to figure out, but it's a sewn in. Basically, it's like a collar stay, except it goes down the front of your shirt. Mm -hmm. um, and once it's in, it lasts the life of the shirt. It's patented, it's 100% made in America, and it's pretty amazing. So the, <laughs> it requires a little bit of work, though. I mean, you need someone who can actually do it. So what's involved? Because I think you got a little resistance for a little while, but you solved that problem too. Yeah, um, the first bunch of customers we had would order it and then go to like every dry cleaner in town until someone would finally say, sure, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. um, and every order comes with instructions, but like around here, we work with Kona cleaners um, and, and, and a bunch of dry cleaners, another 500 across the country. But so you can just walk in, most cleaners do alterations and it literally takes them less than five minutes to put in and once it's in, it lasts forever, so. What is the material made out of? See, I can't tell you that. Oh, because... it's a patent. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, uh, but it's, yeah, <laughs> it's lightweight. It's flexible. It's, it's not heat cardboard. Resistant. It's not it cardboard. It won't melt. Um, and then it can be sewn through, and um, that's what holds it in place. It just kind of floats in there. Mm. So, as the fabric of the shirt shrinks and the material doesn't, it, there won't be any pulling or stretching. Mm. It's just a couple stitches that hold it in place and just sits there. And how, so you say the lifetime of the shirt, how many, have you tested this? I'm sure you have. Oh, my dry cleaners are like, I'm yeah. gonna prove you wrong. Okay. Um, they don't believe me, but uh, most shirts they say last an average of 60 to 70 presses. Mm -hmm. um, I've got guys now in the 120 range and they're still wow. going strong just like day one. So I knew if it was gonna be sewn in and permanent that it had to pass the test mm -hmm. of what guys do to their clothes and yeah. what dry cleaners heat might uh, do. So I was just gonna say that's what I love about you. You're like the Thomas Edison of collars. <laughs> you know, you've like tried this a thousand times and you've got uh, yeah. the perfect solution now. It took a lot. Yes. If you looked at some of the previous prototypes, you're like, what were you thinking? But yep. I wanna see the one with the mini blind in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so 
<laughs> you learn tra- like you so learn ten thousand ways not to do it, right. and then all you needed was the one yep. that actually worked. So yeah. this is great, and I and personally, I've been dressing men for almost about 25 years yeah. so it's one of those things that says yes shirts were designed to wear a tie mm-hmm. but if you're not going to wear a tie you need to be able to find a way to keep the collar from slipping under the jacket or from just laying flat down or from crumpling yeah. you know the whole idea is to frame your face so I right. love this as a solution and I got totally excited when I learned about it because <laughs> you're still a little bit of a well-kept secret yeah and yep. so we're gonna try to get more people to know about you how do they find you uh, the easiest way is our website, uh, milliondollarcollar.com. Uh, we're also sold on Amazon. We're in the top 0.1% of fashion products sold on Amazon, even though we're still fairly unknown. We're, we've sold about 170,000 units to people in 95 countries, which I'm like, I still, That's sometimes amazing. countries come in, I'm like, I got to go look on the map. I have <laughs> no idea where this is. That is incredible. <laughs> That's incredibly so, exciting. Um, yeah, it's really great. So if, if somebody reaches out to you, can you give them like the name of a dry cleaner that would be able to service them? So, totally. We have, mm-hmm. uh, that's one of the follow-up emails that people get because we're trying to make it as easy as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, so they get an email that says, hey, check our map for installers to see if mm-hmm. there's someone close by. But as long as they go in, I mean, the instructions, it's literally open a couple stitches, slide in, sew it together. The instar- so really we are, could do it at home if with a needle and thread. We could. I yeah. taught myself okay. how to sew and I am not a sewer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I went and I inspected one of my man tailored shirts uh-huh. just to see. And there really are three or four stitches right there that, you know, with a little pin prick, you can just mm-hmm. kind of pull it out and if you needed to restitch it. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, oh, I probably would just leave it open. <laughs> but oh, it's yeah, got to be held in, so you need so something you need to, to a couple it. stitches to hold it in. But yeah, it fortunately, every dress shirt I've come across, which is hundreds that I've done installs on myself, they're made exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you talk about like the big factories, they, they make most of the dress shirts. So they're very consistent across mm-hmm. the board. There's always two layers in the collar band, and mm-hmm. there's always two layers in the placket. Sure. So it's hidden. You know, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you do a stick on one? Well, both sides of this are mm-hmm. visible. Yeah. So where you we gotta have make some it. big clear The point plastic. is to look awesome. Yeah, it's just <laughs> subtly inside. And Not pieced together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, right. So thank you, Rob. Thanks so much for sharing, and we're gonna help you get the message out there. And hopefully also for the guys who are having custom shirts made. That yep. they could just bring them in to their custom folks and totally. let them put it in from the beginning. That yeah, be and great. we sell these for a couple mm-hmm. dollars um, per set. So you can buy five at a time or 10 at a time or 20 at a time, depending on how many shirts mm-hmm. you're doing. Or you can go to like Kona and a lot of the cleaners we work with will do the first shirt for free. This mm-hmm. is kind of one of those need to try it and really experience mm-hmm. things. Yeah, a little uh, bit like and once crack it, cocaine. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, it's, you got to get that first taste. That's why drug dealers are good. The, you know, the Thomas Edison the drug dealer at yeah. the collar yeah. industry. Yes. <laughs> Try it once. Um, once, you go, once you go to the million dollar collar, yeah. you'll never go back to right. those cheap shirts. Well, I have to say, just as a personal aside, when I first met you just a few minutes ago, I thought, man, this guy looks really well put together. And I couldn't place it. But then once, once, I, once I put the na- you know, name with the million dollar collar, I was mm-hmm. like, that's what it is. There was just something about it. Like you yep. said, it draws it draws the collar to your face. You just look a little bit better put together. And in any kind of like sales situation or any type of presentation where you really need to look good, yeah. it's those tiny little things that actually really stand out and make people notice. So I think it's an amazing product. I appreciate it. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us. And we will see you at milliondollarcollar.com. Amazing. Thanks. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back.